Hey guys, welcome to a new video. It is time to finally finish the tulip dress. So in this video, I am going to do all the finishing touches that take this project from a completed pattern to a finished dress or outfit in general. The first thing that I'm gonna tackle is actually the chemise, because that is probably what bothers me most about the whole thing. <laughs> the chemise is just, it's not working. The ruffle that I have here, I think my fabric is just too thick for it. And the ruffle is pretty stiff. It stands up. It doesn't fall over the dress nicely. I don't like it. And the arm ruffle, I don't like that either. I actually went out and got myself some lace. It is a lovely fabric with kind of eyelets on the end. I don't think this really counts as lace, honestly, but it's a very nice finishing and I think this will be perfect to use for the purpose that I want to use it for, especially around the arms. What I'm gonna do here is first remove the ruffles that are already there, both from the arms and from the neckline, which is gonna be a little difficult because this ruffle is integrated in there and I'm gonna have to probably re-sew. But after that I can go ahead and attach this and that's gonna be step one. Improved, much improved, I hope. Let's get started. Before we move on, I just wanted to take a little moment to talk about today's sponsor because this video is kindly sponsored by Nordgreen. Now, I'm sure you've heard me talk about Nordgreen before because I've worked with them a couple of times on my channel already. But if you're unfamiliar, Nordgreen is a Danish watch brand that make beautiful Scandinavian design watches, very lovely minimal designs, and they really focus on sustainability with their brand. Their packaging is made of recycled bottles and FSC certified cardboard. Their shipping is carbon neutral because they plant trees every year to offset their emissions, and they offer a variety of vegan and refurbished products in their store as well. Nordgreen also runs a giving back program where they donate to three NGOs for clean water, education, and environment, and the customer gets to choose which NGO is donated to for your purchase. You can find out more information about that on their website. But another thing that is fun to note about their watches is that they all come with interchangeable straps. I have a watch here that has a lovely black face and gold hardware and I have it with the black vegan leather strap here. Um, but I also have a gold mesh strap that I can wear it with. So let me just switch that up really quickly and you can see how it looks if I wear the gold strap with it. It's really easy to change out, comes with a little lever, I guess, in the back that you just push to take it off. And then here is what it looks like with the gold mesh band. I absolutely love this. I think both of these are very elegant and perfect for autumn and winter, so I definitely will be wearing this a lot. They are currently running a Black Friday sale and I have a discount code that gives you even more discount than is already on the website when you use code LOOPSY35 you get up to 35% off of your purchase and potentially even more on the website so definitely be sure to check that out there is a link in the description box below to take you straight to the website so now's a perfect time to get a watch for yourself or as a gift for a loved one for the upcoming holiday season so definitely be sure to check that out I want to give another massive thank you to Nord Green for sponsoring this video and now let's move on with the sewing Alright, status update. So yesterday I removed all the existing frills and I hand sewed the lace on and already this looks so much better. I can only imagine it's gonna look fantastic with the dress on as well. Fingers crossed, I <laughs> hope all this effort wasn't for nothing but I'm pretty confident in that. So now I just need to attach the remainder of the lace onto the neckline and I do think I'm gonna do this by machine just because these are already two layers and I need to kind of sandwich that lace in between these two layers. So I think it's gonna be easiest if I just run a machine stitch along it.
this is already such an upgrade. I mean, this is gonna make a huge difference, I'm sure, to how luxurious the garment looks. Next up, I want to take the actual dress, the overdress, and see if I can add some trimmings here and there. I have a bag of trimmings that I got from my grandma. I've had it for years and I've never really done anything with it. And I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. So I'm gonna pull that out, see if anything matches the colors of my dress and see what we can do. Okay, there is some gorgeous stuff in here and I want to do it justice. Oh, this. <laughs> I love this stuff. Beautiful gold trimming. Not sure what I do with it, but it's beautiful. Oh, this is just a tiny little bit of red that's not going to be enough for anything, I think. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Wait. It's just cut into little pieces. I don't think I'm going to use any of this, but this is great. What else? This is too glittery. This is brown. I don't think I should combine different laces. Although this one is very minimal. This might work. But again, I don't think I like the cream of the dress with this white. I think this is too lavish to go with the style of the dress, which is fairly simple. And then in here I have some more like folky trimmings. So I don't think that's going to work either. No. Okay, so we have this gold and we have this red. I really like this red. If this is enough, I would love to maybe put this around the elbow, like right here where the ruffle starts. Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to start with just this because it's a fairly similar color to um, the lace that I'm using on the front. So at least it's going to tie into something. And I'm just going to hope it doesn't look too random. <laughs> but I do think it could be pretty and just add a little bit something to this dress. I have red trimmings on both the sleeves and I decided to just go for it with the gold and apply that all along the edge of the bodice. So it is all along the front and the back. On top here, I do think the majority of this is going to be covered by that lace that is on the shit, um, chemise, but I don't know, I just, I, I think it looks nice. We'll see if it works once I put it on. But yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do in terms of trimmings. I don't want to overdo it. This is still supposed to be a fairly simple dress. But one thing that it does still need is a hem. I didn't hem it last time. And I think I need to go back and redo the petticoat as well. Because that one is really long for some reason. And I need these to be the same length. So... That's what I'm going to do next. And I think that's actually going to be one of the last things I do, if not the last thing. Let's get this done. It's looking really good. I'm, I'm very happy with it.
is finished guys. It is definitely done. The tulip dress is done. My first historical garment, my first 18th century garment is finished and I, I love it. I am now so excited to make more. I don't know where I'm going to leave all of them. But I want to make more dresses because this was so much fun to do. I absolutely love the results. One thing I will say though, I still hate the chemise. Um, the whole standy uppiness isn't because the fabric was necessarily too thick. I think it's because it is so scrunched up. Um, the neckline is super wide and then you pull it tight and it kind of ruffles up. And that is just too thick. So I think eventually, and especially if I do make another project, I'm gonna make a new chemise that is less big <laughs> so that it fits a little bit better. I also feel like it's making a lot of bulk under my clothes. It results in some unnecessary padding in places where you wouldn't necessarily want it. So yeah, but that is honestly the only thing. I am very happy with the trimmings that I added. I think they look good. I'm happy with them. So I am gonna end this video and this series here, guys. Thank you so much for following along this journey. Thank you so much for all of your tips, which have been super, super helpful. I couldn't have done this without you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more styling videos, as well as beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. Don't forget to check out Nord Green's Black Friday sale through the link in the description box below. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!